Hi, I'm Enchanting Nubianette. Welcome back. A middle-aged woman married a man who had two young adult sons. This couple had an immense love for one another, good chemistry and core values, plus much more. Yet the wife really wanted to have biological children. Her husband was open to having one more child. So they met with a fertility specialist, began prioritizing healthier meals, supplements, and exercise. However, the husband's sperm wasn't effective. Each time they attempted to get pregnant, there weren't positive results. His sperm count was just too low. Before I continue with this new story, please remember to hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get back to the story. Well, they had a few options, and this is what was available. They could have gotten a sperm donor, but both of them did not trust the fertility clinics. This couple were very adamant to have participants who were physically, mentally, and emotionally up to par. And of course, this is the mindset of most parents. The sperm needed to be obtained by someone who fit all of their strict standards. And they knew of testimonies of people who had a donor with health issues or even low intelligence. This couple couple did not have 100% full trust in any clinic or health agency to complete all of the necessary medical tests and health evaluations. And because there were couples and even single parents who had issues when trying to conceive and their experiences were negative, they were very skeptical. So in their opinion, seeking a sperm donor would be time consuming. Well, they figured that each male candidate could have, would have to pass their criteria, consume a specific diet with fully organic ingredients, be a college graduate, age range of 20s to early 30s um, from a certain family. And additionally, it's an extremely expensive process. As a last result, resort, excuse me, but their best option was using the sperm of their oldest son. The couple knew his excellent health status, mental capacity, meaning without mental or physical illnesses. Plus, he is a well-balanced person who has empathy, a strong work ethic, high intellect, and positive relationships with people. That's what the couple did. Now, they have a healthy baby girl. That choice was made 30 years ago. And recently, her parents have been contemplating on how to give her all the details. The couple isn't secure about telling her that her older brother is indeed her father. The news article did not divulge the son's age. I wonder how old he was when his sperm was taken or utilized. Was the son old enough to consent to this permanent action? I hope so. Another fact I am really curious about is why did these parents wait 30 years before revealing the truth? In my opinion, this is a very sensitive topic for anyone to face. The couple should have told her in her teenage years. She was old enough to understand the topic and how to conceive a child. They procrastinated an entire decade or more. This data has a potential to, to create great strain on everyone involved. And I could imagine their daughter feeling betrayed and totally confused about their choice. I wonder if the son was in his early teens, late teens, or what have you. What is your feedback about this family dynamic? And remember to hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a million and stay safe wherever you are.